many times that the U.S. is doing far better than any other country when it comes to testing. Yes. Why does that matter? Why is this a global competition to you if everyday Americans are still losing their lives and we're still seeing more cases every day? Well, they're losing their lives everywhere in the world. And maybe that's a question you should ask China. Don't ask me. Ask China that question, okay? When you ask them that question, you may get a very unusual answer. Yes, behind you, please. What, sir, why are you saying that to me specifically? I'm telling you, I'm not saying it specifically to anybody. I'm saying it to anybody that would ask a nasty question That's like that. That's not a nasty please question. Please go ahead. Why does it matter? Okay, uh, anybody else? Please go ahead in the back, please. I have, to, I have two questions. No, it's okay. But we'll you go pointed here. to me. I have two questions, Mr. Next. President. Next, next, please. But you did. You called on me. I did, and you didn't respond. And now I'm calling on. Sorry, I just. The young lady in the back, please. I just wanted to let my colleague finish. Okay. But can I ask you Ladies a and gentlemen, please? thank you very much. Appreciate but it. You thank you very me. much. Don't be threatening. Be nice. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. What a stupid question that is. Keep your voice down, please. You've said repeatedly that you think that some of the equipment that governors are requesting they don't actually need. You said New York might need not, might not need thirty thousand. You said it on Sean Hannity's Fox News. You said you know, that why you don't, might. Why don't you some, people act? Let, let me ask you. You said why some don't states, you act, Why don't you act in a little more positive? It's always trying to my get question you. to you. Get is, you, get you, and you know what? That's why nobody trusts the media anymore. My That's question why to you people, is how is that going to impact? Me, you didn't hear me. That's why you used to work for the Times and now you work for somebody else. Look, let me tell you something. Be nice. Don't Mr. Be President, threatening. my question Don't is... Don't be threatening. Be nice. Jared Kushner said the notion of the federal stockpile was it's supposed to be our stockpile. It's not supposed to be state stockpiles that they then use. What did he mean by our? Well, what are you asking? And I mean, yeah. even the fact that taxpayers from What's every that? state gotcha. pays for gotcha. it. It's such a basic, simple question, and you try and make it sound so bad. You ought to be, I, you ought to be ashamed to of yourself. No, you know I, what? You ought to be ashamed. Way, you I, just I, ask your question in a very nasty tone. The Paycheck Protection Program has gotten off to a confusing start for small I businesses. I don't think so. I think it's done very well. Well, Wells Fargo has stopped taking applications. Bank of America Not anymore, they have prioritized taking applications from clients that were already Bank borrowers. of America. I wish you'd ask the question differently. Why don't you say it's gotten off to a tremendous start but there are some little glitches, which, by the way, have been worked out. It would be so much nicer if you do that. But you're just incapable of asking a question in a positive measures. way. It's such a positive event, and you ask it in such a negative way. It's just, I wish, I wish we had a fair media in this country, and we really don't. We were angry because information about the virus should have been told to us earlier and a lot sooner. People knew it was happening, and people did not want to talk about it. Right. Many Americans are saying the exact same thing about you, that you should have warned them the virus was spreading like wildfire through the month of February instead of holding rallies with thousands of people. Why did you wait so long who you to with? warn who, them? Who are you with? And why did you yeah. uh, not have social distancing until March 16th? Who are you with? I'm Weijia Jang with CBS News. So if you look at what I did in terms of cutting off or banning China from coming in. Chinese nationals. But by the way, not Americans who are also nice coming from China. Nice and easy. You acknowledge that you didn't think Keep your voice down, please. Spread. Keep your voice down. Did you not how many, you how many, spread? how many cases were in the United States? I did a ban where I'm closing up the entire country. How many people died? And that's a fair point. How many people died in the United States? And yet I closed up the country and I believe there were no deaths, zero deaths, at the time I closed up the country. Nobody was there. And you should say thank you very much for good judgment. Do you want him to rein in Robert Mueller? What a stupid question that is. What a stupid question. But I watch you a lot. You ask a lot of stupid questions. Sit down, please. Sit down. I didn't call you. I didn't call you. I didn't call you. I'll give you voter suppression. Excuse me, I'm not responding to you. I'm talking to this gentleman. Will you please sit down? Same thing with April Ryan. I watch her get up. I mean, you talk about somebody that's a loser. She doesn't know what the hell she's doing. Question? Yeah, go ahead. 
Sure. She's shocked that I picked her. No. It's like in a state of shock. I'm not thinking, Mr. That's President. That's okay. I know you're not thinking. You never do. I'm sorry? No, go ahead. Go ahead. Let me, let me just tell you something. I, I know you're always, you always have a question. You mean my White House aides lied? What about his aides? What about, what about Mueller's aides? He didn't say that at all. You're untruthful when you ask. You are untruthful. When you ask that question, when you ask that question, you're untruthful. And if you were ever truthful, you'd be able to write the truth. On the campaign trail, you called yourself a nationalist. Some people saw that as emboldening white nationalists. Now people are also saying that the president. I don't know why you'd that say that. such a racist there question. There are some people that say that yeah. now the Republican Party is seen as supporting white nationalists oh, because of your rhetoric. That. I don't what do you that. make of that? I don't believe it. That's such a racist question. Honestly, I mean, I know you have it written down and you're going to tell me. Let me tell you, it's a racist question. I miss Excuse me. But to say that, what you said, is so insulting to me. It's a very terrible thing that you said. I guess at this point, I'm numb to it. It's been two years of the same thing, but now it's open. Um, it's openly said by the President of the United States, you know, there's been efforts to silence me in the briefing room. There have been efforts to discredit me. 